With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In the given circuit diagram, the current I1, I4 and I5 are shown. You have to find out I2, I3 and I6. So let us do one by one. So to get the I2, we will apply the Kirchhoff junction law at R. So what equation we will apply to find out the three current? It is Kirchhoff junction law. So at the first, we will write down at R. So at R, if you see I1 plus I2, it will be equals to I4. So I1 here is 0.3 and I2 we wanted to get, right? Uh, and it will be equals to I4. So I4 here is 0.8. So though here I1 is in neg with a negative sign, but the V will go with the direction total incoming current is equals to total outgoing. So I2 is, it is equals to 1.1 ampere. Now we will move to the next that is I3. So just you can see this, this is the I3. To get the I3, we know the I4 and I5. These two current we know. So we will apply the junction law at S. So at S, if you see here the I3 is, I3 and I5 are, are outgoing current. And uh, I4 is the incoming one. So we will write down this net incoming current is equals to net outgoing current, right? So if you see here the I3 here, it is equals to, if you see the I5 is 0.4 and I4 is 0.8. So I3 is 0.4 only. So if you see here, now we will write down the equation to get the I6. To get the I6, if you see it is simply equals to I5 only. It goes like this and this. It is equals to 0.4 ampere. That's it. Now we will write down 0 0.1, 0 0.4 and 0.4. So option is B. 1.1, 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 ampere. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.